Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, my name's Charlie, and today we're gonna be diving back into some more Stardew Valley Expanded, and we've got a lot of stuff to look forward to today. One of those things being that Lance is almost at full hearts, and we're dating, so, you know, what comes after dating? Marriage. We might be marrying Lance today. <laughs> so excited. Now, we've also been working tirelessly to befriend all the other villagers as well. Like, you know, Lance isn't the only one out there. I know it comes as a shock. But as I think I've mentioned before, my ultimate goal is to reach perfection in this file. So we have a lot of stuff to do for that. One of them being friendship, one of them being fishing. Like, how many fish have I even caught? Don't even tell me. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Ooh, oh god. And there's all these new fish too. Oh boy. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, that's not great. That's not great. Well, we're just gonna ignore that, okay? It's fine. Oh, it's Martin's birthday today? Oh, goodness. What does Martin like? And it's Scarlet's birthday tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. This is a big... And Gus's... This is a lot. Hold on. Okay, Martin loves juice and ice cream. He is a child. But that's okay, because we actually have the ice cream stand, and that will make it a lot easier to give him a good gift. No effort involved. Uh, a little effort involved. What the? Hello? It's summer. I require ice cream. Just a moment. Let me grab this chair. I don't know how this works. If I put this chair right there. No. How about if I put it he here? 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 No. How about, how about here? What? I thought this was like a hack. What? Give me ice cream! Oh my god. I am getting certifiably stressed. I- how am I supposed to- uh, Can I make ice cream? Do I have the recipe for it? Oh, I do. Milk and sugar. Okay, 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 okay. I can do that. Let me just go grab some sugar real fast. Do you not sell sugar? Hello? Well, oh, okay. I scrolled right past it. All right. That's totally my bad. Sorry. Okay. Milk and sugar equals ice cream. Awesome. Now, oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, I swear. Trevor is just a little gremlin. It scares me. He moves and I'm like, huh, what's he gonna do? I don't know. A genuinely frightening experience. Okay. Now, Martin should be at the movie theater today, right? Like, I think he works there now. I- yeah, he- should I just- wait, I can't- I already seen a movie this week. What? How am I- How am I supposed to give him this gift? What? He's gotta go home eventually. I'll wait. Oh, it's gonna be so long though. Okay, I think he's probably gonna get out closer to like nine-ish or something. That kind of makes sense. So I'm gonna just try and stay in the general vicinity and I'll go check on him later. In the meantime though, we can give out some of the gifts that we have. Here you go, Krobus. Krobus is so precious. I love him so much. Oh, Leah, I have I have a salad for you. I just bought it. No, 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 no. Here you go. And a little chit chat. Flowering water keeps my house flowing water. Oh my God. Don't even talk to me ever again. <laughs> And then, uh, stop to, to say hello to, uh, Vi Hey! What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck is going on here? I tipped Gus $800 for my drink the other day. You mentioned that the saloon wasn't doing well fine. Stop being sweet because you're gonna make me upset. I know I'm divorced. I know I'm div- Did I- Am I intruding? Sorry, do you want me to leave? Well, Sophia. I thought we were friends. What? I'm divorced. I'm divorced. I made this choice. I made this choice. I can't be heartbroken, but I am. I'm hurt a little bit. My best friend and my ex-husband. It's like a horrible sitcom or a rom-com. What is that trope from? I literally don't know. Come out, Martin. Come out. I know you're in there. Come out and receive your birthday gift. This is so menacing. Like, nobody wants this. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Martin's here. Martin's here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Give me all of your friendship points. Ah, that's a market improvement. Thank you so much, Martin. Happy birthday. Have a good one, man. What a good kid. Love him. Okay, today is Sunday, which means that it's Scarlet's birthday, so we've got to give Scarlet a little bit of a gift, and then we also have to give Lance a gift. I totally forgot to do that yesterday. I was just so caught up on making ice cream. It really was an all-day event. Now, here's an interesting question. Where does Scarlet even live? Because I don't know. Maybe Andy's farm? Because she does work there. Hello? Is there a little birthday girl around here? Okay, that was a little weird. I'm gonna say it. Anyone whose birthday 
birthdays today. A little birthday, little birthday present. Hello. Oh, Andy. Scarlet. Imagine she's not even, imagine just waking up to that in general, but imagine she's just not there and Andy's like, Charlie, what, what are you doing? Get off my farm. I thought you were like a daughter to me. <gasps> Hi, Andy. Good morning. Where is Scarlet? Does she not live here? Oh, she probably lives with like Sophia. Why would she live with Andy? That doesn't make any sense. Big dumb, big dumb, Charlie. Maybe I'll catch her on the way to work. Hello. Is she here? Wait, Andy probably doesn't have work on Sundays because it's the day of the Lord. Oh God, there's so many layers. Scarlet? Are... Sophia, have you seen your best friend anywhere? <laughs> what the frick frack? Where does Scarlet live? Oh, she lives in Grampleton. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, well, that means I need to go to Grampleton. Otherwise, because she's not going to come today. It's a Sunday. Oh, this is just malarkey. I have to do so much work just to bring these people birthday gifts. It's like they don't even want them. Okay, where am I going? My legs are just taking me. Oh, oh, to the bus. The, bu the train stop. The train stop. It's a train, not a bus. Oh my gosh. What is this? Fully matured melon should easily break away from the vine when twisted like this. Okay, I see now. Dang, Scarlet really just is a farmhand for like everybody in the valley. Like, do you want to work for me? They don't all ripen at the same time, so it's important to check each one. Hey there, Charlie. Hello. Happy birthday. Hello, dear. Scarlet is helping me work the fields today. Those hops won't turn themselves into pale ales. <laughs> oh, you said it. I'd say this is a good time to take a break. I'll go make us all some fresh lemonade. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Thank you. I don't think I've ever run across anyone else who's more of a green thumb than Susan. I'm learning so much about farming while working under her. I don't think I've asked you this before. What do you enjoy about being a farmer? Oh, yes, this. I like having full creative freedom on my property. It's just vague enough. I bet you have so much space to do whatever you want, and none of it is farming. You know, I have a dream of owning a farm someday. There's a bunch of cheap fertile land in the Grampleton outskirts. I think I have what it takes. Besides, I can always ask you or Susan for tips. Yeah, this is true. I would stick with Susan, though. Um, I don't know much. All right, sweeties, come inside and enjoy some ice-cold lemonade. That was so cute. I can't find Susan or Scarlet though, so I'm assuming I still have to go to Grampleton. And is that this one? Nope. Go back this one. It's Grampleton time, baby. Oh, Scarlet. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. A birthday gift? I love it. I'm so glad. Wasn't that just the absolute best lemonade ever? I get up at 5.45 a.m. on days I work as a farmhand. I'm still getting used to having an early schedule. You always wake up at 6? That makes us both early birds, I guess. Um, yeah, but I don't, like, do anything productive, so... You have the upper hand on that one. Oh, a cutscene. Hmm. Oh, hey, I didn't expect a surprise visit from you today. I'm checking out the new flyers. A neighbor down the road is looking for a part-time babysitter on the weekends. I think I might be up for the job. How many jobs do you have, Scarlet? I love, like, you're such a hard-working woman. I love it. Yeah, there's all sorts of advertisements and odd jobs that get posted every week. I'm kind of known around here to take on a bunch of requests. Scarlet is the me of Grambleton. Do you check your community bulletin board too? No, I'm just gonna say I often accept jobs from the local villagers. You're kind of like me then. I bet you get nice payouts. You know, I've met some cool people through this. Uh-oh, she's on the loose again. Who? Who? <gasps> oh my god! She's so fast! She's an athlete! Oh my goodness! That is so cute. I do like Scarlet. Scarlet is a hardworking farmer, dreamer. A train is passing through. Oh, that's just great news. Train of thought? Lost. But train of train? Gained. Where's the train? Ugh, ah, give me something. I think I can... I have a slingshot. I've never done this before. I think you can like hit the train and you get stuff. Is that... Is that real? No. No, this is just- this is just an act of war. This isn't doing a, a darn tootin' thing. I think this is a passenger train. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. I only just realized that there's different trains. Oh, oh, what's that? Is that chocolate? Haunted chocolate? Oh, stone! It's bricks. Give me more. Give me more, stupid idiot. <gasps> Ooh. Is that all I'm gonna get? Four rocks? You must be joking. I know you have more than that. Come on. Oh, this is baloney. Oh, gosh. I'm out of here. I am so out of here. Hello, so sorry I got caught up, Lance. There was like a train and there were some birthdays. It was really just the whole thing. But I have a little fishy for you. This will serve me well. Oh, I'm sure. Come on. 
Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, ah. Okay, calm. This is not that big of a deal, okay? Everybody, stop freaking out, everybody. Stop. You need to settle down. It's gonna be okay. I am included in the everybody. I'm freaking out. Okay, I need to get a, a mermaid pendant. I need- Oh my- huh. I need it to rain. Desperately. This is a big step for us. We're getting remarried. I- uh, This is- I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous. Let's see. How are our chickens doing? How's it going? guys. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. Thank you so much. You're too kind. Oh, hello. You come to join your mother. Finger. Oh my god. Every time. It's always you, Finger. You always get me. You get me every time. And Snumbus. What a little cutie. I'm gonna quickly make all this into mayonnaise. Boop. And then I'm gonna say it. I feel very disorganized on this farm. Like, it just feels like, like I feel constipated, you know? There's just so much going on and it's so messy and I'm just displeased. So I I think that we should do just a little bit of farm decorate and a little bit of farm cleanup while we're waiting to get the mermaid pendant because we can't do anything until it rains. That's just the way it goes. Now, my one thing is that I don't really like these stone paths, but I also don't want to use like the weathered floor paths that I use for every other farm because I, I just want this farm to be different, you know? I want it to be unique, but I just hate this. It looks ugly. It's true. What do I do with you? Goodness. Part of me kind of wants to download like a custom path mod and just get some new cool paths because I just really don't like these vanilla stone like it's just ugly okay that's all I have to say about it it's ugly and you already knew that Oh goodness, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Okay, so I just downloaded a mod and it's like a new path mod, I think. Why do all the paths look the same? What? Did it not work? <gasps> look at that. Wait, it's Lance. I, uh, 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 good morning. I have business at my guild today and I was wondering if you'd accompany me as like uh, your fiance or as like, uh, you know. You can experience what a day at the first slash is like. Oh my God, it's like take your kid to work day except your wife take your take your wife to work okay <laughs> That sounds fantastic. Honestly, I would love nothing more. You can use Magnus's warp hall or my secret grove on Ginger Island. I cleared a path to it behind your island farmhouse atop the cliff. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I had other plans today, but it appears as if we're gonna be going to the first slash guild and just seeing what a day in the life of Lance is like. Following him around, shadowing him, if you will. And honestly, that sounds kind of fun to me. I'm into that. But yeah, I just downloaded this new mod. It's called Twister's New Paths. And I just thought that this stone looked kind of cooler. I don't know yet, though, about it. I'm experimenting, okay? Don't comment on it. Don't comment on it. Don't comment below saying, wow, that path looks awful or anything like that because it's a process, okay? It's not gonna- Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will this farm be built. Okay? I can't speak, but you get the essence of what I'm saying. Goodness. I am just too excited. I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen. Good morning. Eh? All right. Goodbye, Morgan. All right. First slash guild hall. Okay. Let's go. We're shadowing Lance today and it's gonna be so cool. <gasps> Hi, Lance. Ah, you're here. Of course I'm here. I would never miss it. There's a school of torpedo trouts at the island today. Maybe we'll see them. Interesting. Okay. Why don't we start by patrolling Fable Reef? I actually really like the first slash guild area. Like, I just these little tide pools and the island design and the castle area itself is so- <gasps> Look at the fish! They're so fast! They are like torpedoes! Holy crap, they're zipping. Oh, that was so cool. This is how we make mana elixirs. Ooh, secret recipe. Now that's a fire. Yes, it is. Oh, a knowing look shared between two lovers. Oh, is this my room? Yawn, what a day. Uh, wait, 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 whoa. <laughs> wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, I didn't, I didn't deny it. <laughs> My ears are burning. He he straight up just turned around, stripped his clothes off, and then said, uh, the bed here is a single. Um, yeah, so, so it appears. I don't know if we'll both fit. Lance has a six pack. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. What the heck is going on? What is this? It's like they're trying to kill me. This is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. Okay, I think we can make it work. I suppose we could try. His little eyebrow raise. Oh god. Chuckle. Seems there is enough room for the both of us, but hardly. I'm- Oh, what was that? Charlie. I- Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that? What was that? If you- If- uh, If you could see the look on my face right now, what the- 
I'm suffering. I love Lance. That was so saucy. I'm so here for it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was not expecting that. I... What? How do I move on? Okay, that was the best cutscene I've ever been involved in. Hands down. I don't even know how to handle the feelings I'm feeling. The only thing on my mind is just I gotta get married to Lance, like now. And you know what? I'm gonna spend the entire day just on the farm trying to organize it, decorate it, figure out like how to, you know, make it all work because it kind of doesn't right now, because I need to impress Lance. I need him to be happy, because he makes me very happy. There was some reading between the lines that could be done, and I'm reading. I'm an avid reader. Now, I don't actually know what all these paths are. Like, they seem to be just kind of the same, but I thought there was more different paths. What the heck? My brain isn't working. That just actually incapacitated me. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Oh boy, I was not prepared for that. Okay, let's experiment. So we'll have two gravel paths, maybe two of these stone walkway, and we'll just see what those look like, because I don't actually know which path is what. Oh, look at you. And that's just kind of normal. Okay, I kind of like the look of this. What is this? I want to experiment with that a bit. Oh, that was a lot for my little heart. I don't know. I don't know how to move on from here by devoting my life to the cause, to Lance. Let's do some experimenting. What are these little wooden paths? Paths. They intrigue me. They look interesting. Oh, oh, wait. Idea, idea forming. Bing, 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 bong. Oh my gosh, I'm so choked up over that cutscene. I don't know what to do. I'm. <laughs> Okay, so my idea is to use these wooden paths and then have a different path in the middle of them. Like, maybe I could use this one, or maybe I could just use the wooden one that I always use, and it'll just look a little bit different. Kind of like the black, though, with it. I think that that looks kind of cool. Part of me feels like if I go with this design, I need to have four wide paths just so it's not as squished. Like, it'll look a little bit like this instead. Yeah, that just, like, looks better to me. I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put these all over the farm, and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, it has been a whole day and I haven't made a lot of progress, I won't lie to you, but I have just kind of nailed down exactly where I want the paths to go and I have decided that I like this design. I think it looks dope. If you don't, I don't want to see any negative comments saying your your path looks bad. I don't know why I'm so sensitive about that. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay, at least I'm dying in my own home. That's fine. Oh, I got on a rant about the paths and here I am dead on the ground. That's what happens to you when you care too much about the past. Okay, it's another sunny day, so we're gonna be spending this day working on the past as well. And honestly, it's better this way. Like, I don't want Lance here until my farm looks absolutely perfect, you know? He deserves the world. He deserves perfect. Okay, so it's been a whole day, and I've pretty much almost finished the paths, and we have it starting from up here. It goes down past the mills, and then all the way over to this side. And when you go up here, I decided to just put some, like, little dappled stepping stone and stair paths. I think it looks kind of nice, and I'd like to put a bench or some area over here just to chill out. A beautiful little refuge, if you will. And then down here, the paths continue, and I can't- the fish pond's kind of in the way. I might move it, but I just kind of put a similar dappling effect type of thing here, but then basically just put the same type of path all the way throughout the farm, and I think it looks really good. It's kind of like the perfect color scheme for Stardew Expanded, I feel, because I, I, I don't know. It just, it just makes sense in my brain. Does it make sense? I don't know. I think it does. Now, I feel like the next thing that I need for the farm is the decoration catalog thing that you can get from Robin, I believe, and that would just make it so I can place down trees and different items and stuff all over the farm and I can also redo my house and I would really love to do that. It's kind of boring in there. I'm pretty sure that it's like $200,000 or something like that. I'm not super certain though so I just want to go check that out. Oh Robin! Furniture catalog, 200,000. Okay. Oh, and there's a bunch more paths too. Probably should have purchased these before settling on a design. Okay, today is the luau and I actually have this golden large goat milk and I think that that's gonna work pretty well. I don't actually know that for certain as usual, but something in the back of my mind is just saying large golden goat milk. That's the ticket. So I trust that. I believe in it. Okay, so the luau is now going on down at the beach. I'm just gonna head there now with my goat milk and we'll see how this goes. I have a good feeling. I don't know if it's valid, but we'll find out.
All right, luau time, baby. I'm gonna toss my goat milk in here, a sploosh. And now I'm just gonna talk to everybody for those sweet, juicy friendship points. Okay, and with everybody talked to, I let's just start the event, I guess. I'm really hoping for the best here. All right, let's go ahead and start the event. Please, goat milk, please, 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 please. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't wanna make the governor regret his visit to the valley. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Oh, no, no. Oh, is that good? He's shaking. That's the best soup I've ever tasted. Oh, he can't stop. Oh God, somebody help him. You're right. It's delicious. Oh, thank you, large goat milk. This is amazing. The governor wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. Oh my goodness. How many friendship points is that? Probably so many. Look at that. Oh my goodness. We're doing pretty well. Honestly, we're almost, we're almost there with a lot of the people in the town. All right, let's see what's going on today. It is Alex's birthday and oh my god, it's thundering, which means that the old mariner is going to be here, which means that we can get the mermaid pendant, which means that we can marry lands. Let's see, we got some mail. Uh, it doesn't matter. I spent all of yesterday like clearing out the entirety of the land and picking up all these preserve jars and stuff and now I just need to find a better way to have them all kind of sectioned out, you know? I was also thinking too that we have grandpa's shed and I want to use that as well because they kind of suggested that it would be good for you know having casks and kegs and making wine there just because of the two layers. Oh my gosh I'm so excited. E ha, let's go. There's a lot of coral. <gasps> Hello. I can see it in your eyes. There'd be a special someone in your heart just so happens I'm selling a mermaid's pendant for the second time. Thank you. This is the one, I swear. Thank you so much for having faith in me. Okay, do we do it today or do we wait? Like, what? what's the deal here? I don't know. Do I have it in me today? Oh my gosh, it's like the perfect weather for this too. Like, and when we asked Lance to be our boyfriend, it was also foggy and rainy, so it just kind of makes sense, you know? Oh, I'm crying inside. I can't wait. I This is the perfect weather. If I don't get proposed to in this weather, I'm, I'm gonna be very upset. I just love rain. <gasps> there he is. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, I'm more nervous the second time. Oh my god. Okay. Hi, Lance. <laughs> His face. Oh my god. I accept. I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days, okay? He, he's so cute. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. This is the start of a wonderful new adventure together. That's so cute coming from somebody that works at an adventurer's guild. That's just adorable. It's like, out of all the adventures that I've been on, your marriage, our marriage, excuse me, will be the biggest. And that's saying a lot because I've been on adventures where I kill monsters and make potions and grow weird eyeball fruits. But marriage, mowage, is the biggest adventure of all. Yeah, that's cute. I'm into it. I'm into it. Lance could breathe and I'd be into it. In fact, he does and I am, but ugh. I just love him. Three days. What am I supposed to do in three days? Oh, probably like decorate my farm so that he doesn't get there and then be like, wow, this is really ugly. Okay, I've decided that I don't really like that the fish pond is up here. I'm gonna make a separate little fish area right down here. And let me see, one, two, three. Um, okay, I'm gonna put it here. Oh, can't, excuse me, thank you. So we're gonna have like a fish area down there here. I don't think we'll need more than like two, three, four ponds maybe. That should be fine. And then I'm also going to move the horse stable down one just because it bothers me that this path doesn't connect. And these mills are going to go up here. We don't even need them anymore. We didn't need them in the first place to be quite honest, but I just can't bear to get rid of them now. They just, they're symbolic. You know, they remind me of Victor. I I just can't let it go. And I might move this one up here as well. There, that's kind of cute, honestly. I like these mills. Like, even though they don't really do anything, they're not super practical, just the way they look is very nice. Okay, now that the fish pond is moved, I'm just gonna make this a normal path. I thought it looked cool the way that it is, but then I slept on it and I decided it actually looks like garbage. So let's fix it. Oh, this is looking a ton better. I like this a lot. I'm also just just gonna craft up eight of these cheese presses and put them all along the back fence here because we always get a bunch of milk and I want to start processing it and selling it as artisan goods instead of just getting lazy and selling it as milk that is not very efficient on my part can you move please nope wrong way move that way please downward down lack down 
Oh my god. Please, get out of here. Ah, shoo. Thank you. Charlie the cow whisperer. Let's see, because, yeah, it's literally been like two days and we have so much milk. Like, how does this happen? I don't understand. If we can line this whole area with milk, that would just be absolutely perfect. And then we could do this, put a shipping bin down somewhere, and then we will be in business. I'm also gonna put some preserve jars on the bottom row here because then we can just put the fish row straight in there and start making some caviar and such. This farm is becoming so efficient. Say it with me. Uh, good job, Charlie. I don't know, I didn't have a plan for that. I think this is the best we're gonna do before the wedding tomorrow, okay? I'll leave Lance a little note, he'll understand. Okay, this is what I've come up with. I love you. Sorry, farm. It got a little dicey here. Sucks right now. I think that should suffice. Like, I think if he came on the farm and saw that, he'd be like, oh, this is in progress. Okay, yeah, I totally get it, you know? I just think it makes sense. I just want him to know that this isn't my true potential, you know? Like, I'm- it's in the works, it's gonna be good. A couple- if he saw it a couple days ago, it'd be even worse than it is now, so... Gotta have faith. I just realized I don't have any wedding clothes. I wanted to make wedding clothes this time around, and I totally forgot. I mean, I can have a wedding coconut. That's like the only other option I have for clothing. Let's see, maybe a wedding coconut and... That's it. Okay. This will be my special coconut. Who needs a wedding dress and a veil when you have a shiny golden coconut? Yeah, that- yep, that works. Okay. Alright, let's get to it. Oh, he looks so dapper. Oh my gosh, I love it. When Charlie first arrived in Pelican Town- no, I can't take this seriously. Okay, well, hold on. Pause. Look at how good Lance looks. and <laughs> Look at my coconut head. Oh my god! I feel so bad! I totally forgot! I'm crying. I'm actually shedding tears. Just the juxtaposition of us two. This is what makes a happy marriage. It is my great honor on this day 16 of summer to unite Charlie and Lance in the bonds of marriage. Oh my goodness. Well, let's get right to it. Oh my gosh. I should have really put more effort into this outfit. Charlie? Lance, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you wife and husband. You may kiss. Ew! Yes! I'm so excited! We're married! Again! But to Lance this time. Oh my gosh, that little look we shared. This is gonna be a happy marriage. And life is gonna be different from now on. But the future looks bright. That's what you said last time. Oh my gosh! He's so cute. I love him. The wedding was wonderful, wasn't it, dear? Well, we can't forget about the farm. Time to get to work. Please don't turn boring now that we're married. Please, I'm begging you. You have made me so happy. Please. Okay, I have my regular hat on. We need to, like, put this golden coconut in a special place. We'll put it in here next to Lance's schedule and my first marriage gifts. Oh, did you did you see this message? I left this out for you. Uh, basically just wanted to say, like, the farm's not done. I know it looks- it's in rough shape, okay? We'll just get that out of the way. It's in rough shape, but I'm working on it, okay? Ah, you, you get it, you get it. He just gets me. We're so, like, in tune. Okay, I've been selling a bunch of stuff, and I have $73,000, which doesn't seem that impressive, but it feels impressive to me. And it's also almost halfway to the furniture catalog, and that thing is really gonna change the tides, I swear. Now, there's something that I wanted to check out in the secret woods. What the nut. What's going on here? Okay, hold on. Now, it's a pretty established fact that I am always in need of money in this file. Uh, I don't know why, but some people were commenting and saying that there's something in the secret woods that's, like, incredibly OP for making money. So I'm just gonna look around and see if I can find what they were talking about. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Is it the fiddleheads? Is it this? Are these berries? What the, huh? Owie, what the heck is this? Red bone berry? Is this it? Guys, did I do it? Wait, what the, huh? A delightful snack for birds, but not for humans. Okay, what do I do with these then? What on earth? Well, I have a new kind of berry. I haven't actually explored the secret woods that much. Like, I'm like, is there more? Maybe I've just been missing a bunch of stuff all along. What is this? Oh my god, this leads to- Oh, wow. That is actually so helpful. How did I not know about that? Jeez, um. I love all these little secret passageways that they added. It's just great. And what is this? Four-leaf clover? That's so cute. Oh, crud. 
I exploded the mushroom. Hold on, let me pick this one up. Eh, poison mushroom. Minus 650 energy. Okay, do not eat that. Noted. What are you supposed to do with the poison mushroom then? I don't understand. I don't know, but I'm gonna take it. This is so interesting. I don't know if I found the thing I was supposed to find, but I did find some cool stuff. Maybe I should turn these into jam. I mean, it does say it's toxic, but... Oh, it works. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Oh my gosh, look at him. This is so cute. It's our first night together. I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna weep. Okay, it's time for bed. That's so cute. I love him. I'm so happy. I uh, whoa. New achievement millionaire? Are you- where? I was just talking about how bad I am at making money yesterday. I am so not a millionaire. Gail needs help mastering some magic, so I entertain the idea of being his mentor for a day. I'll return tomorrow. Okay. Um, I don't know who Gail is, but have fun with that. I think now that we've been married to Lance, this is gonna be our last day for the episode. That was kind of what I wanted to accomplish for today, and boy, did I go above and beyond because we have had some spicy times with Lance today. But for our last day, I think that we're just gonna hand out some gifts and try and keep progressing in terms of perfection. I don't really know what else to do. Of course, we also have to get Lance to full, full hearts now, which is gonna be absolutely amazing, I'm sure. We have more heart events to look forward to. Oh goodness. Oh gosh, there's so many pa- What? Where are you go- Gus, are you going to Ginger Island right now? Are you kidding me? After all this time, today is the day that you decide to go and sell the stinking wine. You're joking. Well, I mean, I might as well go to Ginger Island and just try to get the recipe. That is actually so irritating to me. <laughs> After all this time, he did it on purpose, probably. Also, I want to go check out where the warp was that Lance was talking about. I haven't seen it yet. Is it up this way? Is this it? Yes! Okay, so this is where the warp is to the first slash guild. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, look who decided to show up! Hi, Gus! Jeez, you must be joking. Well, I'm taking the tropical curry recipe and I'm leaving, but I am very disgruntled, I hope you know. And I'm taking mead for Willy. Here you go, bud. Ah, uh, running. Oh, I have spaghetti. Hold on, for old time's sake. Oh, it, it feels the same as it- Whoa, look at this rock. It looks like it has a seagull head because it- Oh my gosh, that's so cursed, but it's beautiful. Hold on, fly away. How did that not work? Okay, I guess that's just the way of the world. Nature is beautiful. Oh, Leah, hello. Convenient that you should show up because I have a salad for you. Here's the thing about Gus being on Ginger Island that really just dips my bucket. I needed to go buy a pizza or something from Gus to give to Sam for his birthday. And on the one day that I actually need him here, he decides to go to Ginger Island instead. But then on all those other days when I really, really needed him to be on Ginger Island, he just said, Meh, I don't feel like it. That is just disrespectful behavior on Gus's part. A little frozen tear for Sebi. A gold bar for Maru. A cutscene? Oh my gosh. Afraid the answer is still no, Gunther. I can't be held responsible should anything happen down there. I hope you understand. What? I'll respect your decision. Thank you for your time. Charlie has entered the building. Fill me in, boys. Hello, Miss Charlie. Uh, I'm seeking to hire an adventurer to escort me in the mines. To continue my research, I require a hands-on approach. I'd go myself, but those caverns are home to hordes of monsters. Perhaps Charlie would oblige with your request. Um, yes? Absolutely? Yes! Oh my gosh. Sure, but you must do exactly as I say. I'm like Lance! I, I get to guide people and train them. Oh my gosh, I really am a member of the first slash. Thank you, I promise to be careful. Charlie is a seasoned adventurer and will serve well in protecting you, Gunther. I do, however, require you to learn a couple combat stances at a minimum for your own safety. That sounds good to me. Of course. Wait, am I actually, like, what, what's going on here? Marlin is gonna run down some things with me. Meet me in front of the Adventurer Guild building tomorrow before the museum opens for the day? What? Wait, this is actually happening? Oh god, I can't end today, I wanna do that. Maybe I shouldn't. No, but I have- I have food to cook. I don't know, I'm so conflicted. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna give out gifts. Just don't think about it. Just don't think about it. Hello, Sir Dwarf. Talk to Totten. Here is a gem. That is so exciting. So I'm gonna be guiding Gunther into the mines? I cannot wait to see what that's about. Wow, we must be pretty high up on Gunther's- Oh, wait. 
What? Wow, we are almost full hearts with Gunther. That's amazing. Oh, I have an idea. There's a lot of trash in the water. Why don't we fish them out to make the valley more beautiful? So that is the quest that you do for Linus and you do get like a recipe or something in return. So I'm going to take that. Thank you. And why don't we do that before we end off for today? Because that's just calming and it's still helping the community. Um, and it'll take my mind off of how bad I just want to continue and do the thing with Gunther tomorrow. Does this pond look like a trash pond? Wow, this farm is so beautiful. Look how good it is. Oh my gosh, who made this? Me? I'm amazing. What? I don't want to fish. I don't want to fish. I'm going to go fish in the fountain in town because I think you get trash more often from there. <gasps> Wait, I want to see Lance. My husband. Oh, he's on a trip. I forgot. He's helping Gale. Oh, man. That's kind of cool, though, that Lance, like, still does his job and has a drive and passion, you know? I feel like everybody else you marry, they just kind of, like, lose everything that they cared about. And then they're like, oh, I'm just gonna water your plants and fix your fences for the rest of my life. Can't wait. Remember that time I wanted to leave Stardew Valley? Yeah, I guess it's all right. I guess I'll stay here forever. Like, no, that's boring. I hate that. I like that Lance is on business trips and stuff and he's still his own person. That's so much better. I say business trips as if he's not like a cool, cool guy adventurer. I am only getting wood and stone from this fountain. I... I'm struggling. I've tried this before. I'm not sure if it works, but I'm gonna go see if the spa, like the little water out front of that has trash. I feel like I've tried it before and once you fish out the necklace, it's like, no, but I could be wrong. I need bait so bad. Okay, I got the necklace. Oh, driftwood? That counts, right? Yes. One piece of trash. Let's go. This is the play. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I only got five pieces of trash. Okay, we'll do that next time too. I'm sorry. I'm a failure. I know, okay? I'm sorry. This is so embarrassing. I'm gonna die with trash on my head. Trash head Charlie is what they're gonna call me. Oh my god, no! No, 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 no. No, you can't do this the day after my wedding day. No, 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 no. Ah! Why? I was trying to do something nice for the community. All right. Well, that is all we have time for today, but we have so many things to look forward to for the next episode. We've got to guide Gunther through the mines, get to full hearts with Lance and see the rest of his heart events. It's going to be a great time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. All right. That is all I have for today, but I will see you guys next time. Bye.